Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Windows 10 Internet of Things dashboard and how to use that dashboard to install Windows 10 IoT Core on your Raspberry Pi 3. Before we begin, check you have the right equipment. You need your Raspberry Pi 3, an 8GB or larger Class 10 micro SD card with a full size SD adapter, an Ethernet cable, a HDMI cable and a 5V 2 amp micro USB power supply. First up, complete an internet search for Windows IoT Dashboard, then select the Downloads link. Hit the Download the Windows 10 IoT Core link and wait for the download to complete. I've already downloaded and installed the dashboard, but you can head to your download folder and complete the setup process. When it's done, type Dash in your Start Menu search bar and select the best match to open the dashboard. Select the set up a new device tab and check out the options. Select Broadcom Raspberry Pi under device type, select the latest Windows 10 IoT Core build under OS build, then make sure you have the correct drive letter for your micro SD card. Next choose a device name and add an easy to remember password. Don't worry you can change this to something more secure later on. Finally hit the software licensing terms box then download and install. The download and installation process will take a few minutes depending on your internet connection, but it really doesn't take long. When the installation process completes, remove the micro SD card from the installation system and pop it into your Raspberry Pi, followed by the HDMI cable, the Ethernet cable and the USB keyboard if you're using it. When you are ready, connect your micro USB power cable to the Raspberry Pi to power it up and begin the Windows 10 IoT Core setup process. Now the boot process takes a little while and I've cut a large proportion of the waiting from the video because it would be tedious to watch. But as mentioned in the linked article, the setup process will default to US English if you don't touch anything. Again, this will take a moment during the first setup, but it is faster the second time around. In this case, we can skip the internet selection page as it will default to our wired Ethernet connection. If you're using a USB connection, Wi Fi connection, select it there. And again, we'll set up Cortana later on if required. So select maybe later. Otherwise, leave it and it will default all the way through to the IoT Core dashboard. Once the Windows 10 IoT Core finishes its setup, you arrive at the device dashboard. This shows you the relevant device information. There's also a few app, uh, option tabs across the top, tutorials, the command line uh, and an integrated browser. There's also the device settings where you can change your language options and internet connection settings uh, as well as other device settings such as Bluetooth and Cortana. And finally there is the power button uh, where you can shut down or restart your device. Thanks for listening guys and good luck with your Raspberry Pi 3.